Star linebacker Matty Teo's claim that he was the victim of a tragic hoax may impact his pro football career. Several NFL draft consultants say the scandal may influence which team selects him this spring. Teo was widely considered to be a first-round pick after he led Notre Dame to the BCS championship game and finished second for the Heisman Trophy. Analysts say yesterday's announcement that his girlfriend, who he said died of leukemia, did not exist, may cause some teams to hesitate. This is certainly the water cooler talker of the day. And while we don't know what the whole truth is, we don't know who would do this and why, we do know that creating fake identities on the Internet is not new, not by a long shot. You can create, you can become whoever you want on the web. This kind of hoaxing called catfishing. I would assume reporter Marcus Solis taking a closer look for us at this bottom feeding phenomena. Nothing is necessarily what it seems to be online. Which is precisely why Fordham University professor Paul Levinson says he's not surprised by the scandal surrounding Manti Teo. The woman the Notre Dame linebacker claimed was his girlfriend did not exist. She was an internet creation. And if Teo was indeed the victim of a cruel hoax, Levinson says it's easy to understand why. Let's say it's 2 o'clock in the morning and it's just you and your smartphone and you're looking at this beautiful picture and you're getting words back. It seems very real. It seems very intimate. Internet deception is so widespread, one hoax victim produced a documentary called Catfish. Neve Shulman discovered the woman he was involved with online was a middle-aged mom, nothing like the person she pretended to be. Social media expert Chris Desi says such incidents are the result of society's continued shift away from face-to-face -face communication. This is the norm when people date, look for jobs, communicate with each other. Um, essentially do anything within their day-to-day -day life. They do it within their digital world. So how do you avoid becoming the victim of a catfish? Experts say the old adage applies online as it does in the real world. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You don't know who that person is. Could be a person who's 90 years old, 9 years old, male, female, anyone. Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.